I did the microphone thing again. Hello everyone and welcome back. You're supposed to be joining me for the Scarborough game, but I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do, and that is do it again where I don't use the microphone. Um, <laughs> it was a barnstormer as well, I'm devastated. So we won 5-4, so I can only apologise that you didn't get to see that. Um, it was a very good game. I'm not rubbing it in. It genuinely was. And actually, it uh, probably shouldn't have finished 5-4. It should have been more like 5-2, 5-3. Um, we conceded a couple of goals that, in my opinion, we shouldn't have conceded. They were, they were deep balls into the box. Keeper didn't come and take, and our centre-half didn't clear up either. So, yeah, not great. And Ollie Armstrong hat-trick. And Josh Allen getting on the score sheet has meant, you know, we, we've we found ourselves in quite a good position. We're fourth in the conference. So, oh, I should say, not conference anymore, is it? That just shows my age. The National League North. Um, and we're performing okay. You know, there's been nothing uh, crazy. We've conceded probably more than we would like, but I'm kind of getting used to that here at the Nash. We are scoring goals, though, and we're being very clinical. Um at one point in the uh, in the Scarborough game, we had had four shots on target and scored four goals. Um, so you can't argue with that. We've got a couple of goal scorers in Al B. Fletcher and Josh Allen, who we were crying out for last season. Um, you know, Al B. Fletcher's come in and done fantastic on loan. Um, Josh Allen is a permanent signing who I made after you guys were with us last time. Um, and he was one of the committee players. If you remember, I looked at our wage budget and we were, we were quite heavily committed. This kid was one of the reasons why. Um, and he scored a goal in the Premier League. So I'll take that. Uh, and he's now our number 99. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's, doing, he's doing fantastic for us. Five, get five starts, five goals. Can't complain. I am doing a bit of rotation with him and Albi. Um, but they're both scoring goals. Um, let's have a look at Albi. How many has he scored? Eight. So... You know, he's he's doing great. He's doing great, and I'd love to have him here permanently. Um, he's got a one-year deal left at South Shields. If we can pinch him, we will, um, because he's he's fast becoming one of my favourites. To be perfectly honest with you, let's just give you a quick update on the transfers. Then, so uh, in terms of anyone that's gone out, yes, we have. We've released that count Akpan. We sent him to Warrington um, for no other reason than I needed to balance the books, and he wasn't going to play. I had an outstanding promise to him that he was going to play in his preferred position, and he just wasn't going to play. With the quality we've brought in, um, hope was on a hide into nothing, really. Um, his best hope was going to be on the bench, and he didn't want that, and I wanted the 350 quid a week we were paying him. So we've got rid of him. We've also loaned out the boy, Jack McDowell. Um, we've only just brought him in. Loads of potential, um, really solid centre-half. We've sent him out to get some experience playing men's football, um, and the added kicker to that is now which are actually paying his wages. So that really helps me from a financing perspective. Um, and then as we talk about that, actually, you know, we're not doing too badly. We are still overspending. Um, and the way I'm going to try and address that is to look to move out Jack Doyle, who we've brought in um, as cover at, at left back. But the reality is he's earning more than his, his position dictates. And if I need cover, uh, the boy Ferguson can do multiple multiple positions. Where is he? There he is. He can play right the way across the back four. So I'm I'm semi comfortable with what we've got. He's not going to get in um, as a first as a first team right, right left back over Callum Rowe. That's not going to happen. So that's going to be my solution to the financial problem. So once I've done that, uh, we'll be balancing the books, and fingers crossed we can have a solid September. And I might well ask for another another coaching badge. They said no in the summer um, because they were feared that I would go somewhere else. They clearly know the name of the save. Um, but let's see what we can do. So instead of what you were supposed to see, you're actually now going to see us playing an Eaton Borough away. So I apologise for that. I know it's not what you came for. Um, a lot of you came to see Scarborough, I, I reckon. But I'll be back in a second and we'll play Nuneaton Borough. Okay, it's game day. Welcome back. 
that took longer for me than it did for you, I assure you. What you can see in front of you is a starting 11. It's the same 11 we started with against the Borough. Um, we've got Mason goal, roll left back, Posher and Matthews, the familiar centre half partnership, and then Ferguson playing right back. Challoner, Anker, and Armstrong in the midfield three to hold that position there for me. Tavares playing wide right, we'll talk about him in a minute. Story, and then Josh Allen up front. So, Tavares is a boy we've got in on loan from Chesterfield. Doesn't look much, uh, but he's played superbly well whilst he's whilst he's been here. And um, Joe Allen, our monster at international right winger, is out injured for three months. So um, I needed a solution. Uh, and this kid's come in with a lot of pace um, and clearly a lot of ability. Uh, and he's done some, some stuff for us. Chesterfield do want him playing as an inside forward. I don't really want to do that just yet. I don't want to disrupt the formation as it is. I quite like having those wingers looking to supply forwards. Um, we'll see, we'll see, um, and then obviously, you know, Josh is, is is our number nine, and then we're gonna we'll have Albie there ready to come on as and when he's needed. We've also got Heaney who's taken a knock; he's out for a couple of months, um, but that's given the opportunity for Story to come back in, uh, try and hold his place. He did great for his last season, you know, twenty one goals. It wasn't it wasn't a bad season by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe it was more like nineteen. Um, wasn't a bad season for him. But uh, he's not as good as as, as Heaney, so he's got a, he's got an opportunity here to try and to try and get himself a shirt. Hopefully, he'll take it. Um, but that's the starting lineup. That's what we're going with. Um, this is the boy who scored the hat trick last week. Um, as you can see, definitely got a little bit. Um, even said to take a penalty against my better judgment and, and still slotted. So we'll take that. Um, but yeah, very, very good. The boys here from Crew, the fans are already having a go to try and make me sign him permanently. I don't know what money they think we have. Um, maybe we can try and get him signed, but we don't have the pennies in the budget, as you've seen just now, to bring anybody else in uh, and pay them any money. So we'll have to just take this, uh, this one step at a time, I think, Nash fans. Right, okay, let's do this then. So just quickly checking that the green light's on before I... Uh, before I carry on any further, because I've got terrible form for, you know, not turning a microphone on. Okay, right. Da -da 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 Let's keep it going here. Yeah, pump fists, all the faith in the world. And I do, you know, we've been playing some lovely football, um, genuinely actually enjoying this season. You know, last season was a, was a little bit of a struggle, was a little bit of a grind. Um, this season, we've been quite clinical. Uh, it's been nice to watch. So, yeah, I'm having I'm having fun. I'm not, you know, I'm not keen to move on from the Nash. If I can do something with these boys, um, and write a bit of a story here, that'd be great. You know, I know they don't want to put me on a badge because they're afraid I'm going to go, but I don't really want to go. He says that as Miles takes a knock. Sinclair's going to come on. Not ideal. Our left wingers are falling over left, right, and centre, mainly left. Throw Xander Challoner. Sinclair. Can you do something for me? Okay, we'll recycle. I don't mind that. First time box from Bro. Armstrong. Oh, it's fell perfect for him. Brannigan's flapped at that. I'd be furious if that was Mace. You know, I think Alan's in there and he's probably done just enough to put Brannigan off. And he's flattered it and it's fallen perfect for Armstrong. Look at that. Alan's there. In fact, no. Alan gets a nudge out of the way. It wasn't the, I'm giving credit to Alan. It's just Brannigan flapping. And he's a keeper who doesn't wear, wear, wear long sleeves. You expect him to be braver than that if he's willing to deal with the cold weather. Row Corner. Why have we gone near post? I had this conversation with you in the last game where you weren't here because I didn't have a microphone on. But we have a lot of success with back post corners, very little success near post. And I'm very, very aware, for those of you that are already shouting at the screen, that I'm the person that needs to change that. Um, but I always forget until we take a near post corner and then I do this and whinge about it and then forget again. Well, in I love it when we bite. If we bite early, we win that ball back a lot more than we don't. Armstrong looking to stride forwards. Tavares is with him. He's boxed it, though. And I'll, t I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, he's, he's, made, the, he's made the referee answer a question. Uh, was that a penalty? No idea. 
but uh, he's answered that question with a yes for us. And Challoner took that away, puts us 2 0 up at Nuneaton, and I'm delighted with that. Absolutely delighted. Alan gets across his defender, and unfortunately, you know, whether it is or whether it isn't, in today's day and age, contact's a penalty. And this is what I'm talking about with our clinical scoring attempts at the minute. Two on goal, two goals. Hopefully that doesn't count as an on goal, because that was Bobbins. No, it doesn't. Okay, 1.6 XG and we've scored two goals. We've had the lion's share of possession. Things are looking okay. Things are looking okay. Here's Brannigan looking to make amends for that flap. Bateson's got all of it for them. They're looking to try and play some football now. Butterfield back to Scott. They're recycling. They're doing like exactly what I want our boys to do. Butterfield's got it back though. Not Jessup. So Jessup's, if you remember from last season, Harry Jessup. He's a young lad who we had a, a, had as a prospect. But he just wasn't good enough to get first team ball. He got an offer from Nuneaton and wanted to go and take it. So I said, yeah, fine. Ultimately, he wasn't going to get in ahead of Alan. He wasn't going to get in ahead of Albie. Um, and we've also got another boy on loan who can't get any game time at the minute. So, you know, Jessup wasn't going to get in despite being one of our own. Um, might be a bit short-termist, I'll agree. But I'll remind you that I'm here to try and get to the Champions League. Um, not necessarily get Curzon Ashton to the Champions League. Ref! Nothing there. That was more of a penalty than the first one. Not happy with that, ref. We'll be having words in the tunnel, I'm afraid. 2.35 XG. We probably should be doing better than we are. But you can't complain. We're 2 0 up. I'm pleased with the number of shots we've taken. Everything's going hunky dory. Um, disappointed to have had to make a change. But actually, Sinclair's come in. He's playing a 6.9. He's not, he's not dragged the team down. And I was saying, again, saying this to you last game, where well, you couldn't hear me. Back post? Back post? We do damage at the back post. Alan tucks it in. The boys scored in the Premier League. Don't know if I've told you that. But, you know, now he's doing bits for us in the Vanarama National League North. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. Not a clue. That's old age, that is. Not a clue what I was saying to you before we scored. So, uh, maybe it'll come back to me, maybe it won't. Not a clue. Uh, nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what I was saying. Strength of the, de strength of the bench. Um, yeah, I think we've, we're in a position now where, actually, the lads I bring on from the bench, either, well, they certainly don't weaken us, um, they either make us stronger in certain areas, or they're of equal strength to what we've already got in the firsts. And that's a great place to be. Well, you've got lads you can bring on that you know aren't going to do you any damage. In fact, can, can perhaps change the game for you. Oh, it's, it makes a world of difference. Get up. Brannigan's come and taken that one. I think his manager's told him on the half time, you've got to come and command that six. And he's gone long. Bring that down, good lad. Get at him. Oh, you've got to look after it, though. Well, in you. Tavares shows your pace. Come on. The boy, Alan. The boy, Alan. He doesn't miss. Even though he was offside. I mean, I knew he was offside. I wasn't celebrating her out. Um, you know, yeah. Ferguson. Getting it deep. He's clipped it long, which isn't our game. I don't know why he's done that, but we've managed to get it back. Tavares. Again, having a run. You love to see this from your wingers. Boxed it. Alan's there again. He's not offside this time, though. Liner agrees, and we'll do a little jig. Thank you very much. 4 0. The boy's on his hattie. I can't really bring him off. I might go for 4 4 2 in order to get Albie some game time. Um, lovely ball in, and Josh just doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. Let's do that then. Let's get him some game time. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to bring Anchor off, I think. In reality, he's playing a 6.5. Uh, in you come. Over you go. Up you go. And we'll have you as another advance forward as well, pal. No problem with that. And then Tommy Wilson, he's going to come on and get some game time. He's going to come on 
for Mr. Posh, who for some reason is complacent again, which does my nutting. Let's do that. We'll go 4 4 2. Still stay balanced. Try and control the game a little bit. Always going to happen. Absolutely perfect. <sighs> okay. Ball winning midfielder sitting there for me. That's really annoying. I mean, obviously, I hope he's okay too, but that's just really annoying. It's typical. Tavares. He's played long because Fletcher's made a run into the channel superbly well. Oh. Yeah, rightly applauding the ball there because it was superb. They found him on that run. And he's great off the ball. That's what you get from him. A little bit of quality off the ball. Fletcher runs into his man. Chandler wins it back though. Sinclair. Good recycling the play. Oh, no. Not managed to do it. Not managed to do it. Get hold of that then. Let's go back to Mace if we want. All right, don't need to. Matthews. Looking forward for Tavares again. He's been in this game a lot. Challenger clip forward. Couldn't find Archie. I'll be boxed. Josh is there. Ugh. I was angling for a corner there, but it never was, was it? It never was. 90th minute. It looks like the game's done. We're still on the ball with our 10 men clip forward this time. Not sure why. Tavares. Play that gap. Mm, the quality wasn't there. The quality wasn't there, and Jessup's through. <sighs> it's inevitable, that, isn't it? You send a young boy out because he can't get time. He can't get game time with you. He's destined to score. It's a lovely through ball and a left-footed finish. Mace can do nothing about that. In fairness, probably should have stayed on his line a little bit longer, but it is what it is. Four-one. Shame we couldn't keep a clean sheet. I don't want a second though, please. Let's get this under control. Well in. Bite again. Good save you. Good save you. Come on ref, blow this up now. Nothing else to see here. Come on. I mean he's taken an extra minute just waiting for the for the corner. Thank you, that'll do. Lovely. Let's shake hands. Everyone's happy. We go away with a 4-1 win. Um, I appreciate it wasn't in the game that you <laughs> all expected to see, and I apologise for that. But we have got a steam, a steam achievement, so we meet again. We won a match against a previous player. Um, yeah, so we're still in fourth. That's not changed. We're seven points off top. A fantastic performance, um, and my plan from now is really to kick on a little bit. So we're having a very good September. All being well, that will continue. Um, if I can get through this for, this third round qualifier against Bradford Park Avenue, which we should in theory, or on paper, I'm going to ask the board for a, a badge again. Um, they may or may not give it me, but we'll try. But then I plan to kick on and probably come back to you around about December time. Um, because ultimately, you know, there's a long way to go to the Champions League and I want to start trying to motor through some of these. Um, if we get anything meaty in the FA Cup, then I might change that, but... Other than that, you'll likely see me in and around either Darlington or Kidderminster, depending on how we're doing. All right, people, thank you very much for watching. Do feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. We can say hello, um, like the video, do all of that stuff, subscribe and all that jazz. I will catch you all next time when next time I promise to not not record my voice.